Hello everyone and welcome. My name's Lenny and this is Big Girls Really Do Cry. Um, welcome to the Diet Word. So, um, following on from last week, last week I was not uh, a happy bunny as uh, you may have noticed. Um, I feel much better mentally and I want to say a massive thank you to every single person who reached out to me and, also, and left messages etc and also to the lovely Sylvia who's Fauna who came and visited me uh, spent the day here on Friday um, and uh, we did crafting and had a really good laugh if you haven't seen the video that I put out about that which was uh, how not to craft yesterday then please go and watch it um it was it was good it was good really good and just what i needed as well um i always think after i get like i i class it as whinging but um susan um bad wolf uh said to me last week when after i'd said that i was overeating and whinging <laughs> uh she said to me she said that's not whinging she says you've got you know issues going on that's not wind and that's things that's really happening and it is actually when you think about it it is um but after getting it all out there it did make me feel a lot better um and i had a good laugh online on tuesday night we with the live and chatty tuesday and then obviously um Fauna coming on Friday, which which was lovely, um, and the, it was my mum's um, memory, uh, birthday memory yesterday, which um, wasn't wasn't easy. But you know, I always find the night like late on the night, just as it just as it goes as the day starts. Essentially, the worst bit for me. Weirdly, I don't know why. Um, on the day, it's more like remembering the good things that's happened if that makes sense um and the, the good memories and the stuff like that um um the the going on to food uh food hasn't been good food hasn't been good up until uh well the last three days has been good put it that way so the first four and i think I don't know if that was what helped with my with my mind. I don't know. So it's not the what it's not what you should do. <laughs> but um, yeah, I had uh, takeaway. I had chocolate. I had takeaway. Had chocolate. Had takeaway. Had chocolate. So that resulted in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all being completely over calories. Um, yeah it's it's not the answer and i know it's not the answer and i know that um obviously being stuck here and i am still stuck in don't get me wrong like the wheelchair still isn't fixed um i have seen wheelchair services on wednesday um complain to them about the whole of everything i am getting a new wheelchair because i'm doing upgrade um well i've had robo bitch about four years um and they get changed every five but because the wheel fell off and i lost confidence in it they offered me a new one and i don't have confidence in the company that they use to fix it um so I'm, i guess i'm getting it slightly earlier than i would have i'm seeing slightly earlier it's not here yet and obviously that could take weeks he said that usually they like to get it done within six weeks but everything's been slow down because of breakfast and uh, breakfast everything's slowed down because of breakfast <laughs> jesus breakfast <laughs> everything has slowed down because of brexit um yeah so everything's slowed down because of Brex brexit <laughs> So I want to see a breakfast again. All right, yeah. So everything slowed down because of Brexit and COVID, and even getting parts and things, which hence why I'm still not able to use it. And I said, but 
they only make checks every so often like why can't when they make their checks they do they're supposed to check the wheelchair every six months right so surely the engineer has some idea as to whether the wheelchair wheels are gonna last so why not like I don't know on one of those checks check the wheels and if the wheels well I assume they would check the wheels anyway and then order some so that they're ready for when a person needs it because it can't just be me that this is happening to like anyone who has a wheelchair which like I said before I'm completely grateful for it like it, it it's my life like it's the only way I can get out, out and about so yeah there needs to be something else put in place which I might look into doing something about I think maybe um but yeah I I feel much better mentally and so like I said the first four days of this week well over calories um the latter four um the latter three <laughs> I should say so even though when Sylvia came up and I'm going to show you a picture um she she surprised me with an afternoon tea which was absolutely beautiful um i'll put the picture here <laughs> here <laughs> um yeah and she was like i'm sorry for spoiling your diet and all this and i was like you haven't i've I well and truly have already spoiled that over the past few weeks don't worry about that um a few weeks few days hello last week wasn't great either was it no not not as bad as this week but last week wasn't great i haven't said that you know um I put down 1500 for the afternoon tea I originally put down 1200 um, and then I thought I'm going to put 1500 just to be sure <laughs> and, I, and I, I do think it was an over exaggeration of, of what it would have been but I did I had like scones and um, fudge brownie and flapjack which were beautifully made by Sylvia absolutely gorgeous so uh, and then like finger sandwiches and we had salad <laughs> we were good we had salad too and quarter <laughs> but um yeah it was absolutely beautiful and yeah um but I didn't I didn't you know by the time the night came like for my tea um I just ended up having some toast I wasn't that hungry because obviously I'd had I had a, a lovely afternoon tea so yeah just had a bit of toast which meant that I stayed under calories for for it assuming that my um, 1500 covers it <laughs> that is which I do think it will I do think it will um, yeah what else was I gonna say hmm brain brain yeah so um it's sunday afternoon at the moment i've accounted for everything today i've, I've um had a um had toast this morning i've cumberland pie for me, me cumberland pie with veg for uh my dinner and for my tea i have a tuna salad um and a couple of little snacks later on which keeps me under calories for the day um still not sure how long i'm going to be stuck in further mom stuck in for um so hopefully but i'll keep feeling positive about it well not that i'm positive about it but do you know what i mean just keep getting through it and do things and keep my brain active yeah because that's what it's about isn't it keeping your brain active um moving on to my daily average for the week it is 2,561 calories, which is about 100 more daily than last week. So I'm sure I was 2,446-ish last week, something like that. Um, so although it's obviously over, being that my uh, daily average allowance is 2,250, so it is over by about 2.50 a day or whatever. Um, it's not as bad as it could have been. And 
you know, it's been a lot worse in the past. I'm not going to dwell on it. It's done. It's eaten. It's gone. It's come out the other end. <laughs> Sorry. Too much information. Um, so there's kind of no point in dwelling on it, is there? No. So I'm not going to. Um, I've obviously started afresh. I've, I've had three really good days with food and that. And I'm going to continue that on into next week for definite hopefully continue the brighter mood um and thing and and thing and things and continue to feel better um and hopefully i'll hear about the wheel i'm going to ring them actually tomorrow tomorrow's monday um and i'm going to ring them and see if there's any news because sometimes i think they get the they, they get the, the parts in and then it just sits in their warehouse until someone finally does something about it. Whereas like if I'm knackered them a bit, might spur them on to keep checking. That's my thought anyway. It's worth a try, yeah. There's no, no to lose ever. Um right, so what else is next week? Um I've got a guy coming to do the cupboard door. I've got to have my smear test, which is going to be done at home. Fun. Not. Um, so, what else? What else? What else am I doing online? Um, I'll be back on Tuesday uh, with the last chat you Tuesday at nine. Prior to that, at half seven, as a change of schedule, we I'll be going live with Heather. Um, I think. It, well, it is on my channel. Um, so we do alternatives and more on her channel last week. But we've changed it to half seven at night instead of 2pm in the afternoon. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I need to film, film another episode of me crafting when I get my needles. So that I can actually finish a duck that I started with needles that didn't really work. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, gonna stop waffling. I hope whatever you're you're doing or you've done, um, you plan yet you're following, whether you've enjoyed your week or whatever, if you have gone over, you know, let it go, just go get over it, start again. One week off wouldn't won't undo every single thing you've done and you know, one day off, one bar of chocolate, none of that is gonna undo what you've done already. Um, and it's gone and there's nothing you can do it's down the loo and a long way away yeah <laughs> so um, yeah don't sweat it is it don't yeah don't don't worry about it um, that shit sealed <laughs> Shut up, lady. <laughs> Sometimes I just need to shut up. Anyway, yeah. Um, so I hope you're all well. I hope you're all good. Thank you again for all the lovely comments and everything last week. It was really appreciated. And uh, yeah, you will see me through the week if you watch my other stuff. If you're not subscribed, please do. It's much appreciated as well. And um, I'll put another video here in this space <laughs> and I shall catch you next time. Bye bye now.